हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मनोज कुंडारे वर्किंग एज द असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक साइंस वेलकम बैक टू आवर ई लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन द डिटेल डिस्क्रिप्शन अबाउट द पिन डायग्राम ऑफ एट जीरो फाइव वन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर द लिंक ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियो इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स प्लीज चेक इट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द इंटरनल रैम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ एट जीरो फाइव वन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर we have previously learned that the 8051 microcontroller has total 128 bytes of on chip ram the internal ram has assigned addresses from 00h to 7fh these 128 bytes are divided into three different parts such as register bank bit addressable ram and general purpose ram the register bank in 8051 In 8051 microcontroller, the internal RAM area from address 00h to 1fh is used for the register banks. These 32 bytes are divided into four banks of register, in which each bank contains eight registers R0 to R7. That means each bank has total eight registers. That is, there are total 32 registers in four banks the ram locations from 00h to 07h are set aside for the bank 0 08h to 0fh for bank 1 10h to 17h for bank 2 and 18h to 1fh for bank 3 next when the 8051 microcontroller is powered up then bank 0 is automatically selected hence it is also known as the default register bank this is the very important statement here that when the 8051 microcontroller is powered up then the bank 0 is automatically selected hence it is known as the default register bank we can select our desired bank by set or reset the rs1 and rs0 bits of psw register as follows first of all we have to know that what is mean by set or reset it is very simple to set means to become it one and reset means make it zero by using the combination of rs1 and rs0 bits we can select our desired register bank if both the bits are having value 0 then register bank 0 is selected we already learned that after reset or when the microcontroller is powered up all the values in sfr are 0 hence these bits are also 0 so the register bank 0 is selected automatically next if the rs1 bit is 1 sorry the rs1 bit is 0 and rs0 bit is 1 then register bank 1 is selected and when rs1 bit is 1 and rs0 bit is 0 then register bank 2 is selected when both the bits are 1 then the register bank 3 is selected that means by using the combination of rs1 bit and rs0 bit we can select our desired bank accessible ram the 16 bytes of internal ram from locations 20h to 2fh are bit addressable the question arises here what is mean by bit addressing it is very simple that our mi microcontroller can also be work on a single bit these 16 bytes provide total 128 bits the microcontroller has given addresses to the bits ranging from 00h to 7fh the detailed view of bit addressable ram is shown here here the each box represents a single bit and each bit have its separate address that means this this bit have the address 00 this bit have the address 03 this bit have the address 2d etc 
the bit addressable facility is used only for a single bit binary event is used that is when a single bit binary event is used the bit addressable facility is used for example the switch on purpose switch off purpose etc this memory area is both byte addressable and bit addressable our next part is the general purpose ram the 80 bytes from the locations 30h to 7fh 30h to 7fh of internal ram are used for read and write storage this is also known as the general purpose ram or the scratch pad ram it is only the byte addressable ram this is the combination of the three parts here is the register banks bit addressable ram and general purpose ram we can draw this diagram in another way like this in this diagram we can see that this part is for the register bank this part is for bit addressable area and this part is for general purpose ram we know that there are total 32 bytes are for register banks 16 bytes are for bit addressable area and 80 bytes are for general purpose ram that means there are total 128 bytes of ram in register banks there are total 8 register in each bank register r0 r1 to up to register r7 the register bank r0 ranges from 00h to 7h register bank r1 ranges from 08h to 0fh similarly the register bank 2 ranges from 10h to 17h register bank 3 ranges from 18h to 1fh this total area is for the register bank the bit addressable area is here it ranges from 20h to 2fh and the general purpose ram area ranges from 30h to 7fh in exams you can directly draw this diagram and explain the description about each part there is no need to draw the separate diagrams for the register banks for the bit addressable ram or the general purpose ram now let's see the programming model of 8051 microcontroller the programming model of 8051 microcontroller consists of the internal ram of 128 bytes internal rom of 4 kilobytes and special function registers that means sfr this is the diagram of programming model of 8051 microcontroller in this diagram this part is of internal ram and this part is for the internal rom we know that the 8051 microcontroller has total 128 bytes of internal ram and 4 kilobytes of internal rom we already learned about that the internal ram facility and internal rom facility let's see the sfrs the 8051 microcontroller has the number of sfrs here is a special ar arrangement is done that in each box there are three parts each part contains some information this box represents the number of bits this box represents the direct address and this block represents the name of the sfr here here the star represents here the star represents that this register 
is bit addressable as well as the byte addressable if the star is not present then the register is only byte addressable let's see the sfrs one by one first let's see the math registers our first first register is accumulator or acc or a it is an 8 bit register and it has the ram address e0h it is a bit as well as a byte addressable sfr our next sfr is register b which is 8 bit register and having the ram address f0h it is also a bit and byte addressable registers our next registers are interrupt registers the first one is ip register ip stands for interrupt priority register it is of 8 bit having the ram address b8h and it is also a bit and byte addressable register our next register is ie register ie means interrupt enable register it is an 8 bit registers having the direct ram address a8h it is also a bit and byte addressable register our next registers are the timer control registers t mode register and t con register t mode stands for timer mode control register and t con stands for timer control registers both the registers are of 8 bit and having the address 89h and 88h respectively but here we see that the t mode register is not a bit addressable registers this is only a byte addressable register while the t con register is bit register bit addressable as well as the byte addressable register our next registers are the timer counter registers we know that the 8051 microcontroller has two timer and counter registers t0 and t1 each of the 16 bit but our cpu is works on the 8 bit hence these 16 bits are divided into two parts the lower part and the higher part therefore these two pi- two timers are also divided into two parts in lower part and in higher part therefore the name th0 implies here the timer 0 high b high byte tl0 means timer 0 low byte th1 means timer 1 high byte and tl1 means timer 1 low byte these four registers all are of 8 bits and having the address 8ch 8ah 8dh and 8bh these all four registers are only the byte addressable registers now the next registers are the serial data registers these registers are used in the serial data transfer the first one is scon register scon stands for serial control register it is of 8 bit and having the direct ram address 98h the star placed over here that means it is a bit as well as the byte addressable register our next sfr is s buff re- sfr the s buff stands for serial buffer it is of 8 bit sfr and having the direct ram address 99h it is only a byte addressable sfr our next sfr is the picon sfr the picon stands for the power control sfr it is of 8 bit and having the direct ram address 87h it is only a byte addressable register our next sfr is a psw sfr 
and it is a very important SFR in 8051 microcontroller. It is also called as a flag register. The PSW stands for the Program Status Word Register. It is of 8-bit register and having the value or having the address D0H. It is a byte addressable as well as the byte addressable register. Our next SFR is the Stack Pointer SFR. The Stack Pointer SFR. The Stack Pointer SFR is of 8-bit and having the RAM address 81H. This SFR is only a byte addressable. We remember that when the 8051 microcontroller is powered up or after reset, all the SFRs are having value 0, but the stack pointer only the SFR which is not having the initial value 0, it having the initial value 07H. Next, our next SFRs are the data pointer SFR. We know that in 8051 microcontroller there are two 16-bit SFRs named as data pointer and program counter. The data pointer register is divided into two parts data pointer high and data pointer low. Both the SFRs DPH and DPL are of 8 bits and having the RAM address 83H and 82H respectively. The program counter register is of 16 bit and this is the only SFR in 8051 microcontroller which does not have any RAM address. This is the very important statement here that the program counter does not have internal RAM address. Okay, now we know that in 8051 microcontroller there are four ports port P0, port P1, port P2, and port P3. Each port is of 8 bit and each port can be used as bit addressable as well as the byte addressable. The internal RAM address for port P0 is 80H for for P1 is 90H, for P2 is A0H and for P3 it is B0H. I hope you all understand the programming model of 8051 microcontroller. Thank you students.